Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week we learned how you can make $500,000 as a college dropout, how to find tech jobs, and how to get started in quantum computing. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about. But there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. And if this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. This is Stacker News. I'm adding a new segment to the news. Every week, I'll highlight a new VS Code extension. I love finding new extensions that help me to be more productive. The extension this week is Tab Out. This extension lets you tab out of quotes, brackets, or curly braces. Normally, if you hit tab, it would add a tab. But with this extension, it will move your cursor to the outside of the quotes, brackets, or curly braces. I think it's helpful and a great idea, so give it a try. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. You have to check out this video from Bukola. She interviewed Esko Obong, a senior software engineer at Airbnb. He tells his story about how he was able to break into tech without a college degree. In this video from Kodam, he talks about the five technologies he thinks are dying and that you should stay away from as a web developer. I think I agree with all of these. Now, PayPal is one of the largest payment platforms and is used by millions of people. In this video from Kyle at WebDev Simplified, he shows us how to accept payments in our applications from PayPal. Next up, Mayuko tells us how to find software engineering jobs. There are so many sites like LinkedIn, Indeed, and so many more, but where is the best places to look? Mayuko gets some help from Sarah at levels.fyi to answer that question. Next, Python Simplified shows us how to create and train a basic artificial neural network using only NumPy and Pandas. Now, by doing this, you're going to better understand the math behind all of the ML concepts. Building a serverless subscription site might seem like a daunting task, but in this video from Ali Spittle, she shows us how to do that in just 30 minutes using Next.js and Stripe. You'll be able to build a site that allows a user to subscribe and then view paywalled content only accessible by subscribers. And in this video from Anastasia Marchenkova, she talks about the opportunities in the quantum space and how you can get started in quantum computing in 2021. She talks about getting research experience, what programming language you should learn, what your college major should be, and many other topics. Next up, Dave Gray gives us an introduction to Node.js. Be sure to check this out if you want to learn how to use JavaScript for backend scripting. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was no more dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash import in React. In this article, you'll see how you can configure your environment to allow absolute importing in Create React app. And what I thought was funny about this was that there are some extra steps that you have to take to make this work in WebStorm or PHPStorm, but it just works automatically in VS Code. For podcasts, give the latest remotely interesting podcast a listen. They talk about collaborating across the chasm. Instagram also has a great coding community. Here's a highlight from last week. In this one from JavaScript Mastery, you'll learn the top eight most popular headless CMSs. And if you're on TikTok, Ben Awad takes off his shirt because he hit 500,000 followers. Again, there's more news in the full newsletter. The link is in the description below. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.